manipulate and find the hole in every single defense that they face off against, except when they lose, of course. But I think they've got a dub coming. Well then, let's see what Big can do. They didn't really have a showing on um, the previous map of Mirage, and I think that was credit to Mouse Sports. Ooh. Now that is a meaty sandwich. Mouse Sports trying to overwhelm with numbers towards the hell position, or kind of on the way there, I suppose. But um, it seems they may not get close. Rops and Dexter remain. There is the P250 in the hands of Rops, but more importantly, the bomb is in his hands as well. So the objective is still with the T's. As they have four big players to find. Yeah, Dexter is still making his way through lobby at this point, and these two T's are not connected in any fashion. It looks like they will look to link, though, if Rops goes up the ladder through the vent. Perhaps an A play to come out. And it doesn't look like Big is actually ready for this. Xantarez is here. But no, Tizian catches Rops as he was trying to find something towards lower. Now Dexter does come out, and he finds a headshot on the Xantarez, who's got the 1 HP. Some kills would be nice from Dexter, but it won't happen. Tabson with a nice 4K on the round. He really shut down any kind of outside presence from Mouseports there. Really taking them one by one, reading the play from the T's and moving into the proper position. But of course, got to look back at that. Little head stack actually gifted him that one. And a great round from Big. They really needed to start like this. Tabson starts this round with 44.50 in the bank. Very tidy indeed. He pulls out the side stone four and plenty of grenades, as do the rest of his team, but with a bigger focus on the MP9s. See the initial grenades offered. Mouse Sports with Desert Eagles on deck. Acor will be leaving AWP money in the hole. He's got some money stuffed under the mattress. Maui, you look like you put money under your mattress. Uh, yeah, I don't even file taxes, actually, or anything. Oh, just, my I, God. I, I take cash only, actually. I just only... Yeah, I, I don't... Platform pay me cash, but okay. Bemis looking money with that deagle there. Takes down Cersei. That's a hole now that Big have to try to patch up. There is a player down lower right now. Tizian will be challenged immediately, but Dexter is too quick with this MP9. He has the CT gun equipped, and he is not only going to find the bomb plant, but he's racked up some cash with that SMG. And it doesn't look like there's really an opportunity for Big at this point. No, I think it's, um, I think most people are saving here. I think it would be crazy to do anything, but I feel like some uh, some people in this position may be compelled, like, oh, we have to go for this, guys. But no, man, you, this, the chances are over. Like, it's too many man on road, too many trade frag opportunities with Desert Eagles and MP9s. You're going to, again, throw good money after bad, I like to say. And they've got some significant weapons big for the next round, so it would be uh, folly to throw those into the hands of the Mouse Sports players who have shown how dangerous they can be if given the opportunity. Santarez currently zero for zero, which you don't often see. I mean, it is round two. He took that's fine. He took a headshot in the pistol and walked. walked well, he away. just walked it off. He, he just scuttled away. Off. Yeah, he limped away actually. So where where Freya is from in Reading, people get hit by buses and then just get up and walk into like bars for a beer. Yeah. You know, it's crazy out there, man. Yeah, we had to stay in Reading for a bit. For Flashpoint too. Actually. Did you get hit by a bus? Oh, only only two. Only two oh, buses. okay. Yeah. Well, this is a dangerous round for both squads. The scout is out for Searson, looking for a flick and a headshot. It'll be a flick, but there's no connection. One minute 35. This is an interesting round, looking at the weaponry on both squads. Yeah, hodgepodge by from both teams. Searson might find an angle on these players. And he does, but what? he doesn't actually connect with the shot. Although Tabson is there to, to collect the opening kill onto Acorn. Now Tizian, he's rotating down again. He had some trouble last time around as Dexter met him with the MP9. We'll see if history repeats itself or if Ito will be the first one to be challenged. He is. Oh, Tizian takes down Dexter this time. But Bemis right there for the trade. Fighting fire with fire, our big clan. And they have the man advantage. Bemis is uh, likely to expire in this round. I think it's fair to say with 28 HP. The task of planting the bomb as well. But first they need to establish control of a bomb site. And they're walking into the wrong one or maybe the right one with an AK in the hands of Rops. There is one more CC by the Ventner who emerges. It's Antares. 
Bemis not spotted just yet. Searson making his way downstairs, and Bemis knows that the race is on 30 seconds on the clock as he looks to plant the bomb. That will be successful. Can he escape this position, though? Creating some space for himself. Playing around the smoke. Now, did he go towards double doors, or is he still on the site? That is, that is a question to be answered. I think Zantares has answered it as he makes his way to double doors now. Bemis in the clutch, just hiding behind a big box, but... At some point, he's got to try and catch one of these players off guard before he gets swung on by both of them. They don't have a defuse kit, actually. Here comes Antares, takes one in the face immediately. And it's just now with the scout through the box. Oh, no kit, though. Oh, yeah. It's close. I don't know if he's got time. I think no. I think he's got it. Oh, I don't know. It's so close. I'm unsure. I'm oh, he's got it. Oh, oh wow. God, don't. Ooh, man, you can see Tabson wiping the sweat off his brow and getting hyped for that one. Great stuff there from Sersen. I mean, that was an essential round for Big to try to get control of the situation. Overall, though, really nice attempt from Bemis. He wasted as much time as he possibly could, but Sersen, I mean, he ends up having to wall bang him there, and that was the perfect shot. It really was. It's exactly what he needed. Yeah, exactly. Especially time wise. Yeah. He could afford nothing more. Some fancy gloves on Sersen. Very fancy indeed. Very loud. He's got to have the confidence to rock him. And he certainly does. Still with the scout outside. Oh. The force buys will continue as we go back and forth. We trade rounds. But trading rounds is not favorable for the CTs, generally speaking. So they will like to win one consistently. But Acor is here, ready and waiting for that opening kill. Holding positions now. Searson could run to his doom. It's quite nice when you have the movement speed of the scout looking to just swing and smash someone in the oh. face just like that. Oh, God, Acor utterly deleted, but AWP can be rescued. But with Rops being dropped as well, this might just be that consecutive round for Big that they're looking for. Yeah, so much control taken by Mouseports, but their numbers are thinning by the second. Now, Bemis has made his way down secret, and it looks like Mouseports will have to commit towards this lower play. But Big, they, they recognize that. Tizian is already here and waiting. We've got Keto here on the ramp who can easily rotate if this hit begins. So Mouse Sports, they've got to use their utility perfectly. They're going to have to trade off of each other flawlessly. There's so little opportunity for them to make any kind of mistake. There's no room for error at this point. And we still have Frozen lurking outside. That's really curious, actually, to see how he's going to connect with his team on this one, or if he even can. I guess he's trying to be some late-round win condition at this one. But Bemis, it's his time to strike. Tizian is there for challenge. That's exactly what they needed. An opening kill. Now it's a three-on-three -three situation. The bomb can be planted at this point, but Dexter is actually mollied off temporarily. But Bemis keeps on pushing forward, and Dexter is there to find the kill. Now it's just down to Sersen. He had a nice shot earlier with the scout. He's going to have to find two more. Takes down Dexter. One body shot is all he needs to take down Frozen, but Frozen's already around the silo, and Frozen closes it out so close. Just a split second sooner, and Sersen would have had his number, but Mouseports are able to once again bring it back and forth. That is a clutch. Mouseport's looking very, very dangerous. And if they are to win this series, and this may be a warning to any future opponents, but I hope you don't get Mouseport's in the bracket the way they're playing at the moment. But again, it is still forced by territory and back and forth we will continue. Sirson though will leave AWP money in the hole, but it will be a, a force by, generally speaking, he's on a scout once again. And this is a uh, great start to nuke. Unless you're big, of course. Wall of smoke now towards that main position. And Mouse Sports will take their time. They know that uh, it's in Big's interest to make some kind of play. Yeah, Mouse Sports have denied Big all of the information at this point. Big are still set up to defend an A play, but with just pistols, it will be difficult. And especially given Bemis is this hot on the entries right now. Man, this guy's on fire, actually. He is looking so strong, and Mouseports should be able to clean this one up at this point. Frozen tapping away on Tizian at this point. And Sersen, I mean, it would be nice if he's able to save the scout moving forward, as his team doesn't look to invest into the upcoming round. They full bot here, and he's being hunted down. Nice. And it's eco time for Big. They'll have the AWP for the for the buy round. But the consecutive round has been collected by Mouse Sports. Frozen's hair's on fleek as usual. <laughs> You're a fan. 
I love it, of course. I, I mean, we it's personality. We're so devoid of personality in gaming, generally speaking. It's important to have people like that. You've got like a, a JW in the server of personality. You've got Frozen, who's just anti-gravity at home. He's just defying science. <laughs> and that is fantastic as well. And Mouse Sports have always been a team with personality. So um, it's necessary. It is needed. It's got some big cowlicks. So Acor has the AWP paw. <laughs> You can see it's got the golden kitty on the side of it. So each different pattern ID, the, uh, the, the spread is all over the place. Have they lost the orb? No, they've no, got they, it. Yeah. So there are, some, um, there are some nice patterns where the golden kitty, because it's all dogs, right? But it's a golden kitty yes. with the hands, right? yeah. like the waving hands. You can get it near the middle of the gun and it looks really awesome. Of course, I have one of those. Oh. So you can see it towards the front of the gun. You can yeah. See a little bit. But uh, look at my inventory. You'll see the premium position for the Golden Kitty. You can't be messing around. You've got to pay attention to that detail. Just like Big like to do. And we'll see if they can do it in round number seven because they're back on the buy and sis and it's got that AWP. Sooner rather than later, Big did the calculations, had the abacus out, and they've measured Mouseports and pushed towards secret as well. And they will be very fruitful. The punishment from Big, the bomb's been dropped as well as two players. Acorn now dancing around smokes, looking, hunting, desperately searching for a CT, finds one. Headshot's overkill, but kills a kill. Trying to recover now, our Mouseports. Bomb needs to be collected. This is a really good situation for Big in terms of numbers. They've had some trouble closing these kinds of advantages out, though. And Acor, along with Bemis, still have to recover the bomb outside. Bemis has actually slotted himself into secret, so they're going to put a hold to the bomb retrieval mission as they're waiting for Big to potentially make a mistake. Now, Robs is making his way to the radio, but he's right into Sursen there. Two on four situation. So much work to do. It looks like Big will finally be able to win a gun round here. Unless there is a major slip up or maybe a huge overperformance from one of one of the remaining mouse players. I'm not sure if Acor was at all spotted there. Seems like maybe he was, but he'll still deliver a kill. Mouse puts in the clutch once again with 30 seconds. It gets a little bit more difficult for them and even more so as they're all eliminated. Big managed to stabilize for now. Three players alive, AWP and an AK collected. They are just around shy of mouse sports at the moment. But being on the CT side, they need a lot more than this. They need to win the lion's share of rounds here on the CT side. Yeah, this is mouse sports map pick, reminder. And given that it is their pick, it's uh, pretty likely that they're going to have a devastating CT side. So mouse sports, they're still feeling pretty comfortable about this one. They had money to buy. And it's about consistent round victories for Big. That is the name of the game for them now. And Sursen, he's looking to find an advantage early for his team, but Robs actually is going to take him down. Three on three, though, as a flurry of kills ensue. Now Acor still holding the line towards Lobby, and the rotations are coming out from Big, but that is just thinning their numbers, while Mouseports, on the other hand, can actually solidify their offense here and work something together. We had area control on the ramp from Dexter throwing in a, a Molotov towards the CT side. Then heading back to the lobby, maybe uh, if there was a potential push from Big to try and claw something back. But as things slow down and get quieter, up, Mouse Sports will all be on a ramp now heading towards the B bomb site. We can see Zantares with control of control in the meantime. Very tight angles being held by him. Acor. Ooh. Wow. Dexter. That's a dirty peek. That's disgusting. Look at all the crimson on the wall there. That's all the uh, history that the CT have to show. Well then, Acor has lost control of the ramp and tabs and starts to creep. Tries to figure out where the train fragger will come from. Dexter deleted as well. And now Frozen's in a one versus one. Both smokes are up. Decon and double doors. They may dissipate at the same time, but there's the information he's looking for. Repositions. Easy headshot from Frozen and bigger broken again. Frozen has been big in clutch moments so far in this series, and that was looking so doable from big, but that crouch walk peak from Dexter to take down that player and control, that is that was filthy, actually. That is just perfect angle management, knowing exactly how he needs to keep that in order for the most optimal fight. You see right here, Xantras didn't even see him on the screen. So that's, no. just, that's disgusting. Beautiful, the man had the protractor out. And that leaves Big in a uh, difficult situation on their CT side. Three rounds from eight. Searson on a scout once again. Cameo appearance from a bunch of pistols. Swing and a miss. Tabs will get dropped by mate. Oh, 
mini for the Americans among us. Okay. Oh. There's a swipe through the smoke. Oh. But um, they, this may be cosmetic damage to the likes of Mouseports, unless Tizian and Xantares can do more than this. Yeah, if there's one thing I've learned from last year, though, never count out Xantares with a Deagle. Still, this is a really tall task for him. As Rops is slowly encroaching on his position, and they can likely just pinch mini. So little opportunity for Xantaros to find a multi-frag here. I'm pretty much ready to count him out at this point, and Bemis just finds the timing. So Tizian towards Secret right now. I mean, he would love to find one kill, some something to take forward into the next round. Even $300 would be nice, just the additional nade. But Acor is already keyed in onto his angle. Or will he lose timing? Okay. Um, there we go. Six rounds for Mouse Forts here. Already a really solid nuke half. It's up to Big to try to fight back at this point. Sersen will be able to find an AWP in this one. But you can see Mouse Forts right now on your screens. They're looking calm, collected. I mean, Rops, he's ready for business right now. You know, stretching the T out a little bit. Saying, it's getting a little hot in here. Oh, wait, that's just me. Mouseboards have five rounds from the last six. That is a nuisance smoke outside of which allows the threat of the CT to be red. And this notification is correct. Again, the tracer fire being punished towards the ramp position. Oh my god, that was so clean. I'm satisfied even watching that one. Acor hunting for something outside. He's in trouble. We can see the peppering from Tabson. And there is the stake. Sisson drops Acor with the USP. Bemis and Dexter remain now for Mouse Sports. They've got money in the bank. There is a full buy in the hole for most of the Mouse Sports players, but not all of them. So that may play a part of what they choose to do. Dexter with one. Spots Keto on the hut, but can't get that second kill. Big being proactive to try and find his bomb carrier. Bemis has crucial information towards this bomb site. We can see Keto holding down two jobs, hut and squeaky. Concedes his position again, drops off. Not sure if we saw any of Bemis there. But uh, some, oh, that was a clean shot from Bemis. One versus two now, a quick plant. We've got Searson out of position. Bemis with a chance to rotate. He's got some good utility as well, but he can't spend too much time with grenades. And there is Tabson, a tight angle from the hut and a fourth round for B. Yeah, I think Bemis might have just spotted the pocket of Tabson, just something, some article of clothing just sticking off of him. But at the end of the day, Big are able to shut down that outside play. Wonderful work from Sersen and crew in that direction. And what's so great about the Flashpoint HUD, honestly, is the, these X's on the map, uh, just knowing where everybody died. I mean, you can just kind of see how the round unfolded, even as you're looking back. So props to that. And also the dual kind of upper and lower radar you can see the replay here. But Good work for Sersen. He needed him to step up in this round, and he did just that, even pulling out the USP to find that kill. Big round for both squads. We've got big guns and plenty of grenades to boot. Again, the smoke outside is a nuisance. No one's by T-Red this time. It gives some cover for Tabson to make his way towards secret, though. And again, it's a question mark. It may cause the mouse balls to spend some utility, maybe a molly, for example, to try and clear out that position. Searson is in enemy territory. Who remembers that game? See if he holds this angle. This might have to be a Rops round. It looks like there's going to be some inner regression here. Rops has to receive it. Keto swinging out wide. Oh, Rops, he spotted the foot. He's able to take down Keto. Probably expects more at this point, but there is a smoke to stop them, and it is a Rops round. Two kills for him early on. Now that enables Frozen coming in from Mini at this point. Big at this point, I mean, they felt like they did everything right in that one. They just couldn't get Rops off of that blacktop there. He is the king of the playground. Tapson, though, will try to answer back. Two kills for him. Now the round turns on its head a little bit, but Frozen actually dug his way into the big garage at this point, and Tapson is wondering why and how did he get there? So Tizian has so much ground to recover. And it's going to be really, really tough as Rops has actually exited lobby completely. Although Tizian, that is a start. That is going to be a quick rotation down the vent for the remaining Mouse Force players. Off angle plant, and that is a hit for Acor. Man, you know, I think it was big risks taken by 
big once they dropped some utility and pursued beyond the, the lobby position, or the squeaky position into lobby, because of course, there are so many angles to deal with there. There's normally somebody taking care of business, and if it's drops, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he's just one of the best, if not the best lobby lurker in the game. And uh, still actually in really good at finding openings too. Uh, even if they're yeah. not pushing into him, sometimes he just takes a gamble towards Ram. When it comes to lurking, I think he might be top one. Yes, I, it's him and Blame F are neck and neck for me right now, but I think Rops probably just barely edges it out. Yeah, I mean, he's he's been feared for longer yes. than Blame F, I, I think it's fair to say. And widely respected as well. He has become an icon for mouse sports in his time on the roster. 69 army. This is quick work for Mouse Sports here. They'll be able to find their eighth round. And this is already a, a one half for Mouse. Sirson, okay. Oh, that might have been just one opportunity. Oh, he, how many headshots is he going to find in this round? Okay, just two. Almost a frag. But big, they have a lot of ground to make up at this point. It feels like they're just playing from behind this entire series. And Mouse Sports, they're not taking their foot off the gas. This is already such a solid T side half, and I'm really interested in what Dexter's got cooking up at this point. I, I feel like a fast play is probably a chicken. Oh, sorry. oh yeah. I, I feel like it's got to be a fast play because Big's gonna go for some counter. Oh, but they left the bottom spawn. Seven rounds from nine, five rounds, four rounds from five. Quick mass. The mouse sports momentum is in their favor. The lack of respect from Rops, who's just looking for it. He's feeling himself. And Dexter is here to try and trade. How deep has he chased Tizian? Deep enough, it seems. Always got to expect a some kind of support rifle of some description towards that CT position. But that is a huge frag. Big with problems. And they're being proactive. We've got a big pop flash. No pun intended. Down goes a court. Swing and a miss from Searson. But that will force Mouse Sports away. He's seen numbers towards Lobby, which is good information now that Big have a man advantage. Big need this one. Another 3v4 to go the way of Mouse Sports is unacceptable for them in this half. They need to hold their ground at this point. And Frozen, he's looking for something outside. There's going to be a smoke towards Mini, so Xantras has really nothing else to look at but outside. But it'll be Sarsen who takes down Frozen at this point. But this will be a drop play, actually. Good smoke actually allows that to happen. But Dexter, oh, he has the bomb, and he hasn't actually made it quite down yet. And Tapson is already taking care of that lower threat, so it's just down to Dexter. 1v4 situation. Looks like he's going to be phasing the smoke here. Might catch Keto off guard, but can't even do anything other than that. There's the one, and that's it, actually. There's no more A defenders, as a matter of fact, so he could go for the plant, but he doesn't know that. So he backs off the angle, makes his way back to Hut. And again, there's no one to receive him as he exits that, so, so he can find a plant here. Yeah, they have to be wondering why he hasn't planted already. That may give him a chance as uh, Big R careful. Don't want to walk into a crosshair with this time on the clock, but now he has to commit to it. Searson still shifting up the ladder. May not have made it up in time, going the fast way. Dexter tries to do what he can, but he's done it all already. The round will go in favor of Big, and boy, do they need rounds on this CT side. That's an important one. Surviving with three plays as well is key. And it's been hard for them to frag out versus mouse ports. We can still see Quito, Zantares. Zantares on four kills. That's uh, that's not something big can work with, but they're fighting back. And Mouse Sports here, I mean, they tried something quick, that little pocket of aggression, which they've been really using a lot since Dexter joined the roster, and it doesn't quite work out for them at ramp. Big find two kills while Mouse only found the one. Strong buy from both squads once more. Again, score-wise, it is advantage Mouse Sports, but big still have a chance to uh, keep things more competitive as we head towards half-time. Early spray from Tabson, no connection just yet. Dexter going through the smoke, and Tabson could be in for a nasty surprise as he makes his way towards Garage. Dexter now has got an opportunity. Catching Tabson on the reload, or maybe he isn't. Tabson just dancing, jiggling left and right, and Rops will try to give his team a chance in the meantime, but Tabson is still out and about, causing problems. We spoke as Antares, and he will drop the second last player. Now, Bemis has the bomb, plenty of time. He's got 2,800. Money is a problem for Mouseports at this juncture. 
Damage would be nice. B miss. Finds Tabson, who is a menace towards outside in this round already. And we'll be looking for more. Xanthras is pretty low HP as well. This might be possible for him to get this kill, but no, Xanthras is just so fast. You know his crosser was likely in just the perfect position for that headshot. It was just instantaneous. As soon as Bemis rounded the angle, it was lights out for him. And Big are fighting back here. They're looking calm and composed on their webcams at this point. And Dexter wants another chance at that one. That is for sure. Tabson uh, really ran up after that missed one. A coronet eagle for the final round. Maybe a gun will be collected later on. Drops with the usual grenades, just keeping the CTs on his lurking in the lobby once again. Throws him outside with aggression. Clear and present danger for Big Clan. Down goes Rob's the lurker. That's always a big pickup. Throws with some sound cues. Getting tagged in the garage. I'm not sure if Tabson realizes, because normally you would hear it, but uh, maybe not on this occasion. But he's ready. Throws him being as big of a nuisance as he can. Have a look at these angles. Nito has Master Surprise coming his way, but he can't thwart them. Big still had a man advantage. Sisson creeping in. Too many targets. Awkward angles. Misses the shot. But still big. Stay on top. Two versus two. Now suddenly it's even. Very fast moving round. 1v1 now. Tizian and Acor. Tizian in the vent. He hasn't fired a shot yet, Tizian. So this may be guesswork for Acor. Acor without the bomb. Just circling on himself. But Tizian has the angle. Seven to eight. Big indeed. Close this gap to one. A hard-fought half for them on the CT side. We'll see if they can do better than this in the second half. We'll see you after the break. We're back. Big won the pistol when they were on the CT side, only to be reset in the trade frags, the trade rounds, the trade of rounds, going back and forth. Now, who will win the second pistol? Big able to 
claw some rounds back towards the end of that half. Mouse sports have looked strong from the beginning of this series to now. And now they defend on the CT side, frozen, ready with the knife. And that makes sense. From that angle, if someone's on top of you and he right clicks, it's almost definitely going to be, if not definitely going to be, a uh, an instant kill. This is, these are the things you learn when you're a troll like uh, James Bardock. So we have an execute from Big into the A bomb site, mainly through the hut. They go. Beamer's trying to run a uh, crossfire, but having some difficulties. We've got smokes in heaven as well. So this is an awkward situation for Mouseports. They will have some high ground advantage for the retake, take, but they're a man down. Yeah, Acor has to try to find something here. He's able to tag Keto, but he has to wait for his teammates at this point. Frozen will be making his way through Mini. Nice shot onto Taps, and that'll open things up for them a little bit here. But now it's up to Rops to activate as he's making his way through Lobby. Tizian, who was holding the angle, actually turned away briefly. Rops might be able to find a timing, but his teammates are falling at this point. Is he moving a little too slow, or is it just the right amount of time? That's the question. Rops is going to be able to find a freebie on the Keto, and Xantarez takes down Acor, but Rops doesn't have a kit. No chance for this one. And Big, they'll be able to win the pistol once again. Rops, we have a full armor. Looks like it, actually. That's actually not too bad. But if Sizzian does damage, oh, can't take that into the next round. Always nice to take that armor, but Tizian has other plans for him. Nice work. Well then, Big Clan will win both pistol rounds, which could be very crucial as they try to take Mouse Sports' pick away from them. Have some of, uh, plenty of chat there as the second round of the second half begins. And it will be a force fight. Acor will leave AWP money in the hole. Love to see that priority. Start off your buy rounds on the correct foot. Early nades being sent towards the defenders. But no significant damage done either way. Although, there is some advanced positioning from the Mouse Sports side. They've already made their presence in Radio Room and in Hut. So this will be pretty dangerous for Tizzy, and I highlighted him as a lurker. Big, and he's going to come up with a nice kill onto Dexter. Now Acor finds the tag onto Keto. This is an opportunity here for Mouse Sports. They're doing a lot of damage, and Big, they're just running right into this flurry of deagles. Big, oh, oh they actually make it down. Uh, Santares with the bomb. They had high ground on A. They had to go towards B there. Uh, everything else was doomed. Searson gets tagged as well. This is looking disastrous for big. Mouse Sports know they have an opportunity to eliminate Searson. They find him. They hunt him. They exterminate him. Santares planting the bomb now. Alone on the bomb side. Tapson tries to hold things down, but the one for ones continue. Santares of 29 HP. Need to be some kind of Robocop level turret here. Spotted by Frozen. Stuck in the corner now. And the worst has happened. Reset at, after both pistol rounds are big. Somebody get on the bomb, please. Thank you. <laughs> Just going to be collecting the guns there. But that is a huge victory for Mouse Sports there. Big. They got crunched on at lobby. I mean, Tizian, he was able to find the one. But once they lost that kind of ground, their hand was forced. And a split second call to go down to lower meant that Sersen was isolated towards hell. He was trying to make a play up the ladder at that point, and it was just all discombobulated at that point, but gotta give credit to Mouse Sports. They made a proactive positioning play, and it paid off for them beautifully as they're able to find the second round and find the one round lead. And the trades continue. Let's see if Big can mirror the first half by winning this T4 spike. Four Desert Eagles, a P250 for Tabson. The Honest Pistol pays for itself. Cost $300, got a kill, $300. Most balanced gun in the game. Equal exchange right there. Looks like it'll be an A exec. And Dexter's in a great position to defend this. On top of the silo, he's only able to get one though. Xantarez has control of the bomb site now. Venus falls towards Mini, but Frozen still holds the line, and that might be crucial. But no, the Honest Pistol actually strikes as Tabson's able to find one, but he's got to find so much more. He's upgraded to a Deagle. Acor peaks on the right side, and he's able to find the kill. Mouse Sports are able to weather the storm there, and now it looks like Big may have to offer a save. Yep. Good damage. Not as much as they wanted. No bomb plant, but good damage. And that is something, again, 
It's about the long game. With a score as reasonable as this, it's about uh, just just keeping that CT economy on us. We saw that in the previous series and what happened in the late game on the second map when the, uh, the ponies' backs were broken. Ow. Love some of the classic sounds. Do you remember what the ladder used to sound like when you ran up and down the ladder? Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it, it was offensive. <laughs> I think it was... The ladder sound was an ear injury, essentially. If you compare it to now, it's so gross. But I love that we still have the classic sounds, the terrorist win, the counter-terrorist win, the crater sound. The radio chat. Yep. Yeah. They've upgraded some of the radio chat with the new agent skins, but they still have some of the classic maps. These little things. They're cultural pieces. They're artifacts. If they ever change, I have to be in a some kind of area on a map where you can press a button and, and, it, and it plays or something. Or the training mode. Anyway, big now back on the bike. Sears with a very fast pick looking for a CT rotating across the rafters. Lucky to escape with his 15 HP. Taps in by T Red in the meantime. Rops downstairs. Creeping through the basements. Rops in the perfect position to find taps in. And this just gets so big at this point. But oh, Tizian, what an entry. That's that's a nice shot by him. Dexter just playing right in the smoke. This is so grimy. And Keto actually somehow was able to catch him there. I don't know if he smelled him or what. But Bemis is going to try to fix this. But he's only able to get the one. Now, Mouse Force, they're on the back foot in this round. There doesn't even seem to be much of an opportunity for them unless Acor stealthily is able to get at least one. But. That's going to be so difficult as Sursen peeks right into him. Yeah, never count out uh, Mouse Sports on a retake. Rob's having a look as well. We'll see if he chooses to hide in plain sight and go for something crazy, but a ninja on uh, the A bomb site would be very likely. Just clearing the angles, and Keto will peek eventually. Note how he doesn't hold the angle the whole time, just peeks every five to seven seconds. Really gives him a free kill, essentially, and that is Big's second round in this second half. After being slapped post pistol, they come back with a vengeance. Big need to keep up with momentum, though. They need to find something once again. Can't give up the opening pick too easily either because it's so difficult to convert when you're down in those 4v5 situations. So this time around, we'll see if they're able to do a little bit better. But Acor will challenge the door angle. So much nade damage, though. And Big's able to find the opener this time around. Yeah, that combo. Grenade really slowing him down, limiting his escape from the molly. Oh, you don't see that boost very often, but that's not the result that Tizian was looking for. And you know there's one below. If he was that high, Bemis hunting for a T, and that's a bomb carrier. Dropped in an awkward position now. There are smokes to potentially rescue it, but Big... They're going to try and take map control elsewhere. Well, they were. I'm not sure if they immediately realized what predicament they were in. You see that there are two more smokes for mouse spots, which will really burn this clock down. Now, how do Big turn things around with this minute on the clock? Mouse spots will be uh, very focused on defending this A bomb site, of course. So Big's creep outside will burn time on their own clock, but not so much for mouse spots. Yeah, 50 seconds remain, and if Big don't find something soon, this is going to be really tough to convert. Mouse have a really excellent setup here to control this bomb. And Rops might even find the timing on the lobby player in Xanteres, who has stuck himself towards Squeaky, but it looks like Frozen is quite aware that there's likely going to be a mini play coming out. And with Xanteres falling, there's an argument to save for Big at this point. 25 seconds left, but Sersen, yeah, all right. He will back off the angle. Looked like he wanted a challenge at that point, but there's just no time, no real hope. So they'll take the op and the AK into the upcoming round, and Mouse Sports will be able, will be able to fight back there in what was looking like a really great start from Big. Excellent utility to take down Acor early on. Even a boost that looked like it was going to find the kill on a Bemis, but Bemis just head on a swivel. It was able to snuff that one out, able to take down Tabson on top of that, and that was that was lights out from that point forward. And it uh, looks like Mouse Sports there still playing it cool and calm. Little smile from Frozen. Just a tiny one. A grin, perhaps. Well put. A wry smile. 
What did Big do? They have taken a timeout. Their money is less than ideal. Searson with 3K still has an AWP, so he could potentially drop a rifle. And maybe Galil's. Do they buy around what they have? The score of mouse sports is becoming dangerous for Big. 16-5 on Mirage. Dominance from mouse sports. Big are looking stronger on Nuke, which is the pick of mouse sports. They didn't really have a chance. They weren't allowed to show us anything on Mirage, but they may do so by force on Nuke. But indeed, the score of mouse sports is getting dangerous. Big three rounds behind at present. So it looks like they'll keep their money together. So it's the hero AK and AWP in round 22 for Big. See what they do with it. Searson now looking into the A-bomb site. What a fan of doors, Big Clan. That's a cool little boost though. Able to see above the vent. No one there for Searson to actually find a pick though. And Mouse Sports should likely be playing this like a gun round. Even though there are a few players from Big with just pistols, Mouse Sports, they don't know that just yet. They are unsure. So unlikely to take any liberties in this one. And Dexter, for a little pop flash there towards the door. But even though there is a blind player on the receiving end of that, he isn't able to find a kill. Yeah, he's fishing for information there. He wants to hear somebody spray a gun. In case there is a peek, doesn't get what he's looking for. Mouse sports know that big are looking for something now. There's a lack of activity, if you will, in terms of sound cues and so on. Well, that's a big inf piece of information. The bomb on the floor. Keto will fight for position rather than go to collect the bomb for the time being. 38 seconds, though. Someone's going to have to grab it. Frozen now with a slightly superior angle. Dexter, very tight angle on main. And uh, he'll have half a chance. Bang Ooh. attempt, actually. You've got to respect that from Searson. I told you he's a beast, but he needs to do more. Two versus three. Favor of Mouseport. 20 seconds, and here he is again. Oh, Orbs all over the top now. What on earth was that round from Big? Oh, my God. You can see that they're all fired up after that one. Big were really pressed for any kind of advantage in that round, but Sersen took it by force. The wall bang onto Dexter, the re peek into him as well. Excellent round to convert for the big side. They didn't even invest all the way into that one, so they're able to take a gun into the next round, an op as well, and now Mouse Sports, they're on the back foot here. That might have been one of the big swing rounds that the Germans needed in order to keep on fighting in this match. Such an impactful round from Big. And again, at this point in the game, the score is close. Mouse sports are broke on the CT side. Very, very crucial for Big. No slip ups now. What, is this gap by design? I, that, this is crazy. Acor finds an opportunity onto Tabs in there. Tag onto Acor as well, but I'm not sure if there was a Molly earlier on for Mouse sports or the Miss Smoke from Big. Either way, though. Four on four situation. Big still have good control of what's going on towards outside at this point. They have the numbers in this position. And it's still just pistols for Mouse Sports. So, despite the early round gap, it should be a conversion nonetheless. But Acor, he's tucked himself right here into the locker room. And these players from Big, they're going right around him. Shadow, oh, shadow spotted, yes. Okay, a little more damage. See Bemis now playing for some high impact damage here. We've got Molly's into the A bomb site, trying to avoid making a connection. Bemis just running out of bullets there. Couldn't quite do the job, and Rops, they know exactly where he is. Maybe the best of this damage is over for Mouse Sports in this round. Creeping forward now. Searson holding an angle. Rops will try to have a little more impact in this one if he can. Oh, hello, Keto. So for those of you at home who play Counter-Strike, you should always have your shadow settings on high. Let's see if Rops can get anything from this. The lower your shadow settings are, sorry, the higher they are, the further away you can see shadows from. So for example, if you're above B on train, 
and somebody's on top of the train near the ramp, if your shadow settings are low, you may see no shadows. But if they're on medium or high, then you will see the first shadow, as one example. So always have your shadow settings on high, otherwise you're denying yourself information. It's like putting low draw distance in other games. Uh, yes, especially exactly. Battle Royales. Yeah. It's a great way to describe it. Right then, both squads on the bye once more. Big gaining momentum late on in this second game, doing things the hard way. CSN looking for the fast peak again. No exchange on this occasion. Last time he left at 15 HP. But he's fine on this uh, on this occasion, this time round, this crack at the whip. A lot of information for Mouse Sports right now. Frozen is right behind Red, and Big have yet to challenge him, push him off of this angle. And there's actually support for Frozen as well. Acor is with his op also holding the angle, and he has a flash ready. If they find the timing on this, it might be the opening that Mouseports need in order to stop the bleeding and maybe put Big out of their misery. There's the flash. Frozen goes for the swing, and he's able to get the kill on Akito. Has the molly as well to cover his fallback. Another flash from Acor. Great support from him in this round, enabling Frozen to get that, those kills and the information. Now it's a desperation play from Big. They're moving right to his smoke. Dexter smells them. Oh, and they're stuck. Oh, they are, they're desperate right now around the vent, trying to find something. Oh, no. This nade is going to dunk right and on them. Oh, so much damage. And it's all just down to Xanteras at this point. He's buying the smoke. He's able to get one. Have they unleashed the beast? Is Xanteras ready to fight his way out of this one? Perfect volley to land on a Frozen. He's able to get the kill, but Bemis shuts him down. And they survive with three mouse ports. Their backs are to the wall economically, and uh, the same could be said for Big at this point, having to rebuy great support flashbangs on the outside to devastating effect. Big definitely not expecting that second one. And the airstrike combination from Dexter. Mouseports edge to 13 rounds. Again, very important. Uh, for both squads, one team's going to be broken after this one. We have the initial smoke grenades going outside from Big. There's the wall of smoke, but look at the aggression in terms of the position to Mouseport. Frozen through the smokes outside. They know that everybody else in Big is inside. There's no presence outside whatsoever. Mouseports are expectant. That, that does not mean they will be successful. Yeah, looks like it'll be a full on a hit. Dexter has position on top of the silo. It's susceptible to flashes, but probably won't be mollied off of this spot. Now he's going to be able to reap the rewards of it. Great spray down from Dexter. Three kills from him. And it's looking just desperate for Big. A flawless five man alive round for Mouse. Yep, now they're really gaining momentum. And they've put Big into eco territory. Absolutely shut down on the A bomb site. Crimson everywhere, but the floor will be bleached and there'll be no trace of them. They'll have to do it all over again, but more successfully. And it doesn't look likely in this round where they've got about $2,000 per person. They are broke. They'll have to play for four rounds in a row because um, this one's going to be an eco round. Tizian putting himself on $1,800 with a Desert Eagle and Xantaras all the way down to, to $1,600 here. So I'm curious about the impact on their economy in the round to come. Acor having a little, a little look outside. The help from Frozen as well. So, I don't know about the, in that particular round, I don't know about the investment on those two Desert Eagles. Because 3,700, Zantaros is going to have $300 for grenades in this round. Tizian's going to have to buy a Deagle. So, I, I, don't, I don't understand. Yeah, Big are usually so good with nades as well. You hate seeing them just not have every piece of equipment that they could offer uh, for this round. But actually, it's it's just Xantarez who's taking the hit on utility in this one. Which but Tizian's got a Galil instead of an AK. Ah, oh, that, that is There cool. are more problems, and uh, why? Yeah. That's very, very strange. Oh, what? Mouseboard's taking absolute liberties. Frozen running through smokes. We got gren grenade combos. Tizian just ran into a HE on the silo. Five versus four. Tizian with seven HP. And it goes from bad to worse for Big. Not a lot for them to do here at this point. The nades are already pretty low for Big. Mouse sports are still fairly healthy in terms of their personnel. All five still alive. It's looking more and more dire for Big by the second. But they've gained some space 
towards lower at this point. Perhaps they can find something with Xanter as his position, but he's going to have to break something, either open a door or make some kind of sound cue, essentially, in order to get out of this spot. So they're going to actually break the glass simultaneously as he makes his way through that. I'm not sure if Robs has caught on to that just yet. I think he's aware. Yeah, Robs of, of anybody, Robs would be the one that would recognize what just happened. And you can see that he's honed in onto this angle. Xanterez is not long for this world unless he just finds the instant headshot. But Robs has just too good of a position. He is too smart. And Acor is able to take down Tizzy. And it's just Cersei. And Robs is able to close it all out. Mouse Sports 2-0 big, finishing it off on Nuke. Well, how about that for a performance from Mouse Sports? That was, I think we can start there. That was uh, really, really strong from them. They came into this like absolute beast, especially Acor on Mirage. Again, somebody I want to see consistent heavy output from, and he definitely delivered on that first map. It was devastating. Yeah, and I've loved what I've been seeing from the aggressive rifling of Mouseports. Bemis and Frozen both. It feels like they're ready to take on any challenge right now, and whatever Dexter tells them to do, I'm sure they are ready to go. Yeah, that was super, super awesome. But on the side of Big, again, we picked up Sirsim as well in, in terms of AWPs, but I wouldn't like single him out. They were just starved of opportunities by, by Mouseports. The entire team was overwhelmed, especially on Mirage. You know, I'm used to seeing great things from Sirsim, but on this day, it was down to Mouseports. They just did not allow them to make any of those plays. Utterly dominated on their pick of, of Mirage. And it, I know it just felt like stronger on the pick of uh, on the sports there on Nuke for big, but maybe they just had more space to do things than they were allowed to have on Mirage. But that was a really monstrous performance. One of, one of the stronger performances I've seen from a team in this tournament so far, I feel like. Yeah, this was uh, a really good showing for Mouse Sports. It does feel